All right, I was going to do a whole series of videos on low-cost drones from each manufacturer, but it turns out that they're all pretty much the same. Um, with, but there is one clear winner. So the idea I was going to do was, you know, the idea is that war is broken out. The military needs as many cheap fighters as you can produce as fast as possible. It needs to be the lowest possible price and they'll just fight in swarms they don't have to be good fighters they just need to be the cheapest thing that you can roll off the assembly line fast so I went to all the different manufacturers and tried making them with their own their own parts and then I tried one more from my own ship builder at my out outpost um, and in the end it turned out that they were all pretty much the same uh, and the differences are very minor and so the winner of the cheapest possible uh, drone fighter is Nova of course since Nova is not really in business anymore um, the producing a a lot of them might be kind of difficult kind of in the story Nova is just basically recycled stuff now so that makes things a little bit more difficult if somebody really needs a lot of them so the Nova one ended up ended up at a price of 39409 Now the only other close in that price was Deimos at 40,545, but Deimos couldn't get it to 100 mobility. Now that's not really a big deal. So I'm figuring in this real scenario these would be the ones that would be mass produced. But the Nova ended up being a lower price, everything else essentially exactly the same. The Hope Tech was really difficult. It's kind of a ugly thing. Stroud's not too bad. Uh, the only problem is this landing gear and stuff is ugly. But this wasn't this wasn't about looking good. This was about being cheap, and they're much too expensive. Tayo actually looks pretty good, but it's really expensive. So what ended up being on the drone? Well, of course, each manufacturer had their own cockpit and landing bay. Um, the weapons were all pretty much the same, although some manufacturers didn't sell the disruptors. The disruptors were the cheap, cheapest ones, so there's four of those on there. And then two of the PB-30s. So everybody sold the PB-30s. Um, so the ones that didn't sell the disruptors, the PB-30s, they had four of those, and then two of the um, two of the Ravagers on there. Um, I gave them all a control station except I think possibly the Stroud. Um, that's not you know, not really necessary for a fighter that's going to have one or zero pilots on board, but uh, for the structure of the ship it pretty much needed uh, a 2x2 two two or 2x1 two in there somewhere. So that's what I put in there. As many as I could, I got away with one landing gear, one engine. I'll use the White Dwarf 1020 engine, which was able to get this up to 100 mobility on just one engine. Pretty much all use the 124. 
toroidal reactor or an equivalent that had the exact same stats. Same price, same power, same everything. And they all use the R1000 Alpha Grab Drive. They all use the uh, 50 Grab Jump Fuel Tank. They're not Grab Jumping anywhere. These are these are drones to be deployed in a swarm from a capital ship or something like that. 10S Protector Shield Generator. This is the absolute cheapest thing you can get and put it on there. These are not meant to be high survivability, they're not meant to be great fighters. They're just something to throw out there. The, uh, the differences between the different manufacturers are mostly in their cockpits, their landing bays, and their landing gear. Um, the gear was a lot of trouble for some of them. Interestingly, when I, uh, I had access to basically all the manufacturer's parts at my outpost shipbuilder, I wasn't able to make anything better than this one. The Nova one, you know, I can make one that looked a little bit nicer, um, but it would be more expensive. So... there was really no benefit to it. This really is the best I could come up with. So in the end, the, the Hope Tech and the Stroud versions were able to reach 100 mobility and had slightly better weapons, but they were significantly more expensive. The Deimos and the Tayo were not able to reach 100 mobility with just one engine. And um, were still more expensive. I'm not sure what my next build will be. I'm uh, hoping to come up with some ideas for a purpose-built ship. Uh, maybe try some different manufacturers. If you have any requests you'd like, leave them in the comments. I'd like to do something different from what I've already done.